Hello and welcome back to another episode of Boss Man, the series where we are going for the Golden Reaper title. This episode was what I dubbed the cleanup episode. Originally it was going to be focused around the Rex Matrix, but uh, they got delayed for a pretty good reason and we have two extra weeks before they come out. This gave me the right amount of motivation to clean up some of the older boss logs that I started, but never really got around to finishing. This episode we're going to be focusing on the Giant Mole, Rise of the Six, and Revenants. Looking at our cool image, we have the Malevolent Shield from Rots to get, three Revenant items to go, and for those of you that can't tell what they are via the image, they are Azuriel Staff, Zero Robe Top, and Morgan's Leather Body. In terms of Mole, we just need the pet, uh, so that's going to be pretty hard to miss if we do get it. But let's get into the episode. Vesta Spear number five. Yeah, it's going to be the, the Vesta Spear factory by the time we're out of here. That's only our second Ancient Equipment Warriors patch. This is used to make the T78 gear uh, that's dropped from these guys into T88, uh, which can then be augmented and be like cheaper versions of like Tectonic, Serenic, uh, and Malevolent or Masterwork. So it's actually quite expensive at over 10 mil. So that is an instant yak home. I'm going to start with Giant Mole because it's the one I want to do right now. And the drop rate for the pet here is 1 in 500 in hard mode. But the downside is that the threshold is based off the normal mode drop rate of 1 in 2500. So that means we basically won't really get a threshold until we've actually already hit drop rate. So we could see us going like 600, 700 kills here. But I'll check in after an hour. 53 seconds here? That's actually a pretty good PR. My, uh... Normal mode time is basically double that. That is one whole hour done. Uh, we got 34 KC, so we went from 162 to 196. Got a new PR of 53 seconds and got basically trash loot. I'm going to try to do this boss whenever Penance is up. Just an easy way to uh, motivate myself to complete this boss log. Yo, I was just complaining in clan. How this guy, Senpai Kenny, has 6-0 rope tops and 60 KC, and I have none. And, uh, yeah. And then I just got Azuriel's rope top. If I've learned anything with the RuneScape is complain and you shall receive. Another status item. Let's immediately send this to the bank so we don't get PK'd. I kind of want to look in on the collection log because it's been actually quite a while since I've gone in here. Yeah, we have a lot of Stadius items, but we don't have any Stadius Warhammers. I see the Golden Beam Stadius, and I get excited every time. But still two items to go. There is our next Revenant Spirit. I think that's our eighth pet. Uh, we now have the Revenant Hellhound, which is a nice little override to get. But I just want to get these uniques out of the way and get out of here. I don't care too much about staying to like 50k KC to get the final pet. Uh, these drops are coming in quick, but they're coming in wrong. Corrupt VLS. Oh! Oh, that's the wrong one! So we finally got a zero bridge, which is the coolest thing, because, like, it accidentally turns the camera the wrong way and, like, puts something where it shouldn't be. And there's a, a very quick exit. <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> no! Well, it's 15 mil at least. I've been doing raids in the background about two times a week when my friends have space on their perm team, which is really nice because I can passively work on my Yakka and little Tuzzy pet while I'm doing other boss logs like Mole, Revenants, Rots in the background. Hopefully we can pick up a pet soon. I'm at four thresholds for Yakka, so it's a one in 60 raid at this point. And I'll pretty much always be re-rolling Beastmaster unless I get a Codex because two rolls at Lil Tuzzy is way more important as it makes it 1 in 256 instead of 1 in 512. You ready for this, Lil Tuzzy? Ooh! Okay, I'm not re-rolling that. That was BM. Oh, yeah, I'm going to re-roll Yakka. Hopefully I get double Codex. No. No! <laughs> oh, my energy's on the ground. I'm going back for it. It. Now we're all going to be salty when one person gets the malevolent. Go. DPS, go. 
13 seconds. Let's go. So yeah, this is the backwards bridge I was talking about. Uh, it accidentally goes the wrong way. Um, and we can come over here. And this bridge even becomes like fully functional. Like you can walk over it. It's pretty cool. This is like, I've seen this maybe three or four times. And I have nine, yeah, I have 960 KC. So uh, I got a Revenant Spirit and a Morgan's Javelin in the same drop. Um, I'm going to look up the drop right there. Because I am very intrigued. So with my current pet that I owned before this one, the chance to get the Revenant pet was 1 in 2.6k. And the chance for getting any item, whether it be corrupt or otherwise, there's a total of 56 items. And each one is about 1 in 9,000 from the Revenant Dragon. So that ends up being 1 in 162. And if we take those two numbers and multiply them together to figure out the rate of get, getting both of them, it's 1 in 433k. That's freaking crazy. And I just thought about it. If I change it instead to be um, the specific corrupt Morgan's Javelins along with the Revenant's root, it's 24.3 mil. It's 1 in 24.3 mil. Uh, because the javelins are 1 in 9k, and the pet was 1 in 2.6k. And when you multiply the two of them together, because they are independent events, you get 1 in 24.3 mil. Uh, I read Morgan's, and I thought I got the chest plate. But we just got the coin. Still a good drop, but nice. It would have been nicer to get it, but it's another item. More GP. Hey, the pets are rolling in today. Uh, this is number 11, I think? Or is it 10? No, it's 9. We have the Revenant Orc. I'm going to look up which one that is because I've lost track. That is pet number 11. No freaking way. Like, this, this is not the same clip over again. This is another Revenant spirit we got. Uh, 2215 and then 2217. So that's two minutes apart. We now have the Revenant Dark Beast, and we are 12 out of 14 pets. Crazy! Okay, we need to pick this up right away. Um, and we are Ring of Wealthing. I, uh, I, I do not care about teleporting it. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, it's not a unique, but um it's something. I had gotten one hammer before, but it was a corrupt hammer, so I now have two. Um, let's see what this is. PCT has 260 two weeks ago, so I'm just going to do that. And if it sells, it sells. Actually, I'll, it's right at mid. So we'll do mid one minus one GP and we'll just leave it there. Oh, it sold. What's the uh, magic number going to be? 275 mil, basically. Wow. Right to the coin poach it goes. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Zuriel Staff, 14 mil. We are one item away from this being over, which means we're actually going to get a broadcast. With us now only one item away, I thought now would be a good time to go over our Revenant setup one last time. We have three pieces of Ghost Hunter on, which give us 10% damage boost against ghosts, and these guys happen to be ghosts. Then we have our Salve Amulet, which I believe gives us 15% extra damage. Maybe it's 20%, but it gives us a lot of extra damage, and I wouldn't kill these without a Salve Amulet uh, E on. It's just worth the time to go get another one if you need to. When I started this, I got 28 Salve Amulet E's. I just made a whole inventory of them, and I think I have about 10 left, so... Because uh, when you get PK'd, you don't keep it, but it's not too hard to get back. In terms of my weapon, I have the Revenant Bane two-hander. It's just so good here. Um, Perks-wise, I went a little, little overboard. You don't really need this. I just thought it would be fun to do this with Precise 6 Undead Slayer and then e Equilibrium 4 Ruthless 3. This way I can keep my Ruthless stacks up and get a permanent 7.5% damage boost. And then also the 7% damage boost from the Undead Slayer perk. And then another like about 7 to 10% from Precise and Equilibrium 4 working together. So in total, our damage is massive. I've actually one-shot this dragon. I hit a 
1035 on it. So that's a massive hit. I've only done that once, which uh, shows you how rare it is, but we do do a lot of damage. And then whenever I get a item that's like worth teleporting away, I just pop it in my act. And then if I need to teleport either for more potions, more food, more prayer, what, whatever I need, or if there's a PK or there, I just quickly right click grant exchange the ring of wealth and I'm about 10 squares away from a bank. So this is pretty simple, but if you would want a more wholesome guide on how to do revenants and how to get this title quickly and relatively risk free, um, leave a comment down below and if there's enough demand, maybe I'll uh, make one. Oh, <gasps> yes, we're we're done. We are done. The rots title. I just have to go buy the um. I have to go buy all the pets, and then we have the rots title. Sweet. Ah, uh, that's another title done. <laughs> I guess I can leave these guys. Hey, sorry guys, I, I think I'm disconnecting. Uh, my internet's kind of acting up, so you guys are going to have to do uh, rots without me. Sorry, it's, that's the way it is. You can right-click it during the animation. Oh my god. Another one. <laughs> oh my god. I know I already have the title, but that's the whole title in an hour. Uh, 38 minutes between all three of those shields. And with that last malevolent pitch, we now have four of the ten items for the Banisher of Shadows title, which is the Rots collection log. The final six items are these bobbleheads, which are an insane final boss requirement, and they each take 250 energy and the full set in order to make. So for Aram, I would need 250 malevolent energy and a full Aram set, all the armor pieces, and then creates a bobblehead, which then is unlocked in the pet interface. So in total, there's six pets, so we need 1500 energy. And I got 566 energy throughout all my rots kills once I started keeping a loot tab. So that means I only need to pick up 934. So the 934 energy that we need is 429 mil extra, assuming it buys for 460 gauge, which I think it will, if not long term. The only problem is that the buy limit is 100. So that means every four hours, I can only buy 100 energy. So this purchase will take 10 sets of this, so about 40 hours to complete. So we instantly bought 100 for 421k each. It should insta buy every four or so hours then and we'll see how much it costs us. In terms of our actual loot from Rot, uh, I don't have keep track all the like raw rock tails, onyx bolts, etc. that I got from it. But if we look at just the shields and the energy, that's 357 mil. And at the same time, you average 1.5 malevolent energy per kill. And I feel like I did enough that I can roughly estimate how many kills this took. So that would have been 377 kills. So just from energies, and the shields alone, I was getting about one mil a chest, which is really nice. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Corrupt Morgan's leather body. Haha! <laughs> Yo, today is like the best day. I just finished the rot slog with the shield. Let's get the hell out of here. If we look at the collection log here, we have everything now. We have a couple one items with our Zuriel staff and our Morgan's uh, leather body. In terms of our most common drop, I would say it would be the Vesta Spears with six. These Morgan throwing axes are five drops. So six with the Morgan leathers and six with the Vesta Spear. Yeah, I'm like so happy to have this done. What was our final Revenant, Casey? 28,440. So what I'm going to do for the giveaway for this one is I'm not going to give away the Morgan's leather body if I can find it, because if we examine this, it's only 74k and that would be terrible. What I'm going to do is all of these artifacts, like the ancient statuette, all the way down to the third age carafe, I am going to alk all of these and I'm going to give that away on top of the corrupt Morgan's leather body. So I think that'll end up being like close to 20 mil but let's see what it actually turns out to be and the alks are all done let's withdraw from our money pouch 
21,375k. So that's what I'm going to do for the giveaway on top of the corrupt Morgan's body. I've been at the mole for quite a little bit. If we uh, quick chat our giant mole, Casey, we have 380. And I think that's a good point for us to stop as next episode, we can focus on finishing off this pet, getting above the first threshold and hoping to get lucky. About 50 to 55% of people would have the pet by now. Um, but I'm not too worried about it, even though I hate this place. But let's go get Banisher of Shadows. All our 1500 malevolent energy bought. I got my friends to buy the last little of it to get around buy limits, but we can just assume that that 430k number is accurate for all 1500, even though I got about 600 of it myself. But the opportunity cost of selling the energy still exists. We get 600 and 46 mil in energy. This is going to be expensive. And I think we just use them on each other. Yeah. So you use the set on there and then you get one of the bobblehead pets, which is in the customized in interface. And you pick up one of those achievements every single time. With this last one, if we look at the collection log, once we unlock the Guthin bobblehead, we will finish off this log and we'll get a feed achievement broadcast. And there it is, the family affair feat. Obtain a collection of unique drops from the Barrows Brothers Rise of the Six. If we go to the actual pets interface, they're all in here as well. So they can all override our familiars. They all look pretty cute. Uh, I think Guthin or uh, Darok would be my favorite. Just seeing the Great Axe would be great. Let's just call that pet because we don't have a familiar out right now. But there is the nice little pet. And when you examine it, it gives the Rots KC. And with that in mind, that's going to be the end of the episode. We picked up two boss logs, which I haven't done in a single episode for a long time. But if we pull up our remaining items image, it's starting to get a lot more black space. We went from 24 items to go all the way down to 20. It's pretty crazy to think how few items we have left because when I started this about 10 months ago, I had well over 300 items to get and uh, now it's under 20, so pretty small in comparison. There will be two giveaways for this video as I completed two logs. First off for Rots, the Malevolent Kite Shield is up for grabs. It's large enough that I didn't feel I needed to add anything extra to it. For the Chaos Elemental log, as discussed, the giveaway will be the Corrupted Morgan's body and the 21 mil I got from the artifacts. In order to be eligible for the giveaway, you need to be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below with your RSN. I'll run the giveaway on probably Friday, pick a random comment, check to see if you're subscribed, and then I'll PM you in game and reply to the comment. Have a good day and I'll catch you in the next one.